Welcome to this edition of Week in Review. This is Marlon Paley along with Sheila Hodgkins and uh, your friend and mine, Ganem Hanna, who is the president of the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. And uh, boy, we've got some information for you today. Lots of things have been happening here at the studios of the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. And uh, right now we're broadcasting from not the main studio, of LLB, and we're going to be talking about that uh, in a minute or two. Uh, progress and all those kind of things, plus some exciting new programs and the verse of the day. Again, Anna is here to share that with us. Again, what did you choose today? Uh, Marlon, Sheila, folks, I chose today. First Peter uh, four ten says, "God has given each of you some special abilities." Be sure to use them to help each other, passing on to others God's many kinds of blessings. I've never seen this verse before, and if I have, I didn't remember it until I ran across it again. God, I mean, it's just, He gave us special abilities to each and every one of us. Yeah, together, someone has something to offer. If we work together, yeah. what can we accomplish? So much. You know? Yeah, it, it kind of also reminds me when the Lord says, if two or more gather in my name, I'll be among you. Uh, it, it, when we work with each other and help each other, I think the Spirit of God will be with us. He, he let us use those abilities for the greater things of others, for the greater things of our communities, for the greater things of our churches, families, and so on. I, I just found it to be very encouraging and sobering to see that that verse. Well, when you put it that way, it, that is so true. I mean, I found that true to my life with everybody praying for me and for my family, for this studio. I see the miraculous happen. So Yeah. There's another one kind of ties with it, if I may read yes. here. Uh, it's from Ephesians 2.10. Uh, God has made us what we are. In Christ Jesus, God made us to be good works, which God's planned in advance for us to live our lives doing. Should I read it again? God has made us what we are in Christ Jesus. God made us to do good works, which God planned in advance for us to live our lives doing. So I, I picked up those two verses. They really, really connected, if I may jump ahead, Marlon, uh, with the amazing work the volunteers been helping us in building and developing the studio and the new building. And we can get that a little bit more in depth. I just want to set the stage here so when we get to, the, to that discussion, we can hit on those two verses again. But the good works, the good works that God gave them and the abilities to help one another. It, is, it has been shining so beautifully for the last 11 weeks that I am so overwhelmed by the Spirit of Christ when it dwells into believers and what it would allow them to do and what it let them do. Amen. What do you think Marlon? about that, Marlon? <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's uh, really nice. And I, I really appreciate your... Um, connecting it to the volunteers, which we're going to talk about next. Mm -hmm. uh, the studio update is um, has really been progressing uh, over the last week or so, a couple of weeks. Um, but let's talk about Studio One. The okay. New building. Uh, we've been remodeling the old one. Correct. And the studio has been down for about how long now? About 11 weeks now, about 11 weeks, maybe 13. Um, so we started building the new, the new building, which is called the Great Commission Broadcast Center. And that's going to be a big, large technology center. Because remember, LLBN, it's all about using technologies to reach out to people, whatever they at around the world. While that was happening, the steel manufacturer had delays because of COVID-19 in delivering the steel. 
And we were told about 13 weeks ago that it's going to take about 13 to 14 weeks to deliver this deal. Meanwhile, our adjacent studio to the new property, to the new building, is aging. Uh, it's used very heavily. And uh, it needed to, it part of the plan to blend it with the new building, except we were going to do that last originally. But with 13, 14 weeks of delays in delivering the steel, we seized the opportunity to do the studio, the main studio, we call it Studio One, while we're waiting for the steel. That was not on our timeline till December. So, folks, you talk about really rolling your sleeves and break a good sweat. Uh, it's been happening heavily daily, well, nightly. And I say nightly because we all have daytime jobs elsewhere, not working for LLBN. And the only time we have is after 5 o'clock. And 5 o'clock till late hours in the night, I have seen the, some of the most incredible, incredible long-time volunteers who rolled their sleeves again and didn't say, you know, I've done this with you 15 years ago and I've done it 20 years ago. They came back to the rescue again. Mm. Night after night after night, working hard, bringing their tools. Uh, it's just beautiful. When I read those verses, when I came across them, I had to share it with them, but also I wanted to share it with you because God planned these good works in us. It's wonderful. And we have to put it to work, whether we serve our church, our community. Our families need us. Our neighbors need us. Our co-workers need us. We need to bring these qualities to help one another. And it was just a testimony to the first I read from First Peter uh, and what I witnessed. Um, so uh, we all given abilities uh, that we need to put to work. But I will not feel good unless you look at this photo on the screen. This are some, not all, some of the volunteers, few are workers who work full time for Albion, but some volunteers and many others did not make it into this photo. But even at about you know, late in the late hours of the evening before we left, I said, Hey, let me grab a picture, look at their faces. They're still with a smile and a strong spirit. That's what God does. And that's what God delivers. That's beautiful again, really, truly. We want to thank those uh, faithful volunteers uh, for uh, their committed service uh, to spreading the good news of Jesus Christ around the world. And we're running out of time. It's obvious. I mean, if you have look at your TV uh, once a week or, or more, uh, you realize that uh, we're not living in the same world. We're not living in the same time. Something has changed, and it's not changing for the better. I mean, the Bible tells us that. And so your support for this ministry is uh, very vital at this time. Now, Dana mentioned that the steel is due, and he's got a little bit more of that detail right now, Dana. And you wouldn't let me forget, Marlon. Folks, the steel was delivered this week. I'm rejoicing, and I'm lifting up, lifting up God's name every day, every hour, while I'm in my daytime job, and when I'm there in the evening, I'm in... Disbelieve, the steel is here. Three, as you see in the pictures in the in the screen, uh, three large 18-wheelers rolled one after the other. It took them all day to unload the steel. Another one arrived earlier this week, you know, day oh, after. Wow. Uh -huh. Delivered lots of other material for the building construction. We have another contractor on site drilling the concrete, re creating reinforcement before the steel goes up. So in about a week, you'll see the steel up. Those of you who live local, drive around the block and take a look of what God is doing. I need to say this real quick. We all have full-time jobs. We have few full-time employees. To pull this level of intricate details, keeping eight networks running, and building a building and remodeling all through the hands of so few volunteers is a testimony, testimony to God's power to encourage, to strengthen, and to drive people to overachievement. Because what we're doing simultaneously, while holding full-time jobs, it's unheard of. And they're all committed employees to their organizations. They don't come a minute before quit time, but when they get there, things does happen. So mm -hmm. glory to God that we have such wonderful, wonderful ministry with such wonderful family who has the spirit 
of serving and supporting. And we're doing it all because we want to share God with you and the rest of the world on as regular basis, day in, day out, every minute of every day. Glory to him, Sheila and Marla. Amen. This is their way of contributing their gifts to the glory of God. You know, it reminds me of the great cathedrals in Europe. Yes. You know, um, they were saying that there's this um, artist, artisan, who was uh, sculpting a, a bird inside the cathedral. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, why are you doing it inside when no one can really see it? He said, God sees this. Wow. And so I, I look at the volunteers, you know, you may not think somebody's seeing it, but we do, and God especially does. And, Absolutely. And, and it's all, all of this is to the glory of God. Well, and God sees the hearts of people. Mm -hmm. He sees the hearts of people and their intent and why they do it. And, you know, he just blesses them more and more and more. There comes a time I'm saying, Lord, Lord, how much more can we do? And the only thing that I knew that's changed, God gave us extra strength and energy that we didn't have you know, he helped us grow and grow fast. And to me, that's just glorious because, look, we're surviving and we're happy and we're rested. And yet we are producing. So rejoice, folks, that you support a ministry like this where your support to this ministry is truly, truly pays off all the time with a great return on the investment of praying and giving to this ministry. Amen. And it's $150 per hour, $150 per square foot. So nothing's too big, nothing's too small. And mm. God notices every detail. So just want to put that out there. Anything else? Your opportunity else? is now. So, uh, you know, the, the Lord asked us, uh, make your decision today. You know, don't put it off. You know, this is the time. Well, we've only got a, you know, less than two minutes left. The time just flew by today. Um, we just want to remind you that there is a new schedule coming out. Um, first week of October, which is you know next week. We'll try to have it up uh, that uh, you can uh, advance uh, look at it at LLBN.TV. Especially speaking of LLBN.TV, uh, Sheila has some information on how you can take advantage of uh, video on demand programming and uh, other items. Uh, yeah. Well, like Marlon was saying, if you log on to www.llbn.tv, website programs, and there's a category, and you can just press the tab. So anyway, I'm not computer savvy, but if you have kids, trust me, they're going to know what's going on and can help you find the program you want to watch and, and you want to share it with somebody else if you missed it. And if you have grandchildren, they're probably more up to date with what's going on quickly, and they can get you there in no time. You can count on that. Yes. So, as but there's answers and help. So, as she was saying, it's uh, very simple. Just go to LLBN.TV. Uh, you'll see a, a box banner, and it uh, has a tab that says Programs. And when you click on it, it'll take you to the categories, and you can choose uh, between the name and the category of the programs. All alphabetical. Uh, you want to check it out. So. Uh, First week of October, mm -hmm. we're going to have, I mean, we just talked about uh, the new schedule. There's going to be new programming to kick off the new studio grand opening. Gannon, what is it all about? October 9, October 9, it's, as you see on the screen, mm -hmm. October 9, uh, we'll have a one-hour live special from our Studio One that we're going to reopen it. A week after that, we'll, or a week or two after that, we'll have dedication of that studio, rededication. And, uh, of course, October 10, the following day, we have another six-hour special live on His Light Network. You don't want to miss it. Information on the screen, write it down. It's on the website at LLBN.TV. And it's Blow the Trumpet, A Call to Prayer. That's, That's the correct. title. That's correct. Yeah, don't miss it because uh, this, is, this prayer is so important at this time uh, in our lives. And it's in this ministry as well. Get him. Anything else? Well, uh, yes. Uh, think you left out one other item, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, letters. We didn't have yes. done letters for a long time. Yes, we have a letter from Doris, and she says, 
Thank you so much for all of your wonderful programs. I praise the Lord for the astounding technology used to see us through this stressful time. May he come soon. Oh, amen. Amen. I mean, it, I can't wait for this building to be built, but if God comes before then, amen to that. So I can't wait for that. Amen. And if I may add, all that is made possible by your donations, by your donations. Folks, you kept us on the air for 25 years. That's what gives us courage. That's what gives us support, knowing that we have partners like you out there to help LLBN with its exclusive funding needs. All our monies, all our income, all our dollars comes from wonderful folks like you out there. May God bless you and we love you dearly for the support that you've given us over the years. Lighting lives, blessing nations. I love that logo. That's what it's we beautiful. are, what it's all about right here. That's right. <laughs>